What is up, Priest Planet? It is a Tarot Priest back with another Pick a Card reading. And in today's Pick a Card reading, I want to look at what to expect for you in six months. So we will be looking at the overall energy that you will embody. So we do have some animal spirits I'll be looking at. Then I want to look at the experiences you guys might be having with tarot. And then last but not least, I want to look into what you guys will be evolving in or your evolution six months from now. So for those of you who have booked a reading, sent donations, and are new to subscribing to my channel, thank you very much and welcome. If you guys would like to book a personal reading or learn more about tarot or claim your free question, you can find all that information in the description box below. If you're new to any of my pick a card readings, basically what I want you guys to do is just choose one of the stones that resonates with you. Per usual, I have four decks, deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. So without further ado, let's see what's going to be happening six months from now. Okay, if you guys chose deck number one, this is going to be your reading and what to expect six months from now. Also, if you guys skip to the timestamp, again, all important announcements, including booking a personal reading, will be in the description box below. So let's look at where you will be in six months. So this is going to be kind of like a three-part journey as far as what I'm going to be looking at. The first two cards are going to be oracle messages of your spiritual animal. Also, basically what this is, is the energy that you will be embodying. So for you guys, deck number one, the energy you guys will be embodying six months from now is the otter and the squirrel spirit. So with these two energies, this is more so about believing in yourself and understanding that you're not alone as both of the cards are displaying this. But I also feel like if you guys are having a difficult time right now in your life, this is telling me that you guys will be in a much better place in six months from now. Also with the otter and squirrel spirit, I feel like you guys might have been underestimated. You know, when you think of the otter, otter and the squirrel, they're underestimated, but they can do damage, especially like an otter. Both the squirrel can bite into an entire house. The otter can build a hole uh, that's a great mass. So I just feel like with this, people have underestimated you and in six months, embody this type of energy of feeling like you don't really need anybody to do what you're passionate about doing. This is also about putting yourself first. If there's passion projects that you guys have been focused on, I feel like in six months, you guys will be progressively ahead of where you are today. Uh, just because I feel like through everything you've been through, you just learn how to believe in yourself and really embody an energy of not relying on other people. I also feel like you guys will be much more in tune with your spirit in six months. Like you guys are gonna discover more spiritual uncoverings as far as your higher self, source, God, whatever you guys believe in. I feel like in six months, you guys are going to really embody this energy and experience of feeling like you don't need other people. So I feel like a few of you guys are going to be in relationships. So that's going to be around fe February. So Valentine's Day, I do see some of you guys being in a relationship um, with the otter spirit. So you guys will be embodying love, but also courage, integrity, um, strength. But I really just feel like it's the courage to just believe in yourself and to follow your dreams. I feel like you guys will be in a completely different environment. And of course, I'm gonna clarify with the tarot and the other Oracle decks, what the energy is. But as far as the overall energy of what you guys will be embodying, it's gonna be love, but it's also going to be courage. Courage to believe in yourself. You guys might start, like I said, passion projects or really taking the leap of faith. Some of you guys may have dreams to travel. In six months, you guys will start either booking the vacation, the traveling vacation, or actually um, just traveling before then. So I see you guys really embodying the energy of these little people that I feel like are underestimated. Um, obviously, it's not like a lion or a wolf in the stereotype of being 
having this vicious uh, drive, but for the most part, I feel like that's what it is. You've been underestimated. People have um, really just overlooked you. And I feel like this is about having the strength to look within and find your uh, find your ability and the courage to believe in yourself to, en and to encompass that energy. Okay, let's look at what you guys will be experiencing six months from now. We'll take it one card at a time. So yeah, again, I feel like some of you guys are gonna be in relationships. If you guys chose this deck, I feel like you guys will either meet somebody that you guys have a really, really dynamic connection with. The Two of Cups is also known as the Soulmate card. So I feel like you guys will meet somebody that you guys have this immediate and instant gratification, but for the connection, you guys will have a spiritual connection, especially with the Otter Spirit, the heart here, and not being alone, that's what I was saying. I was picking up that energy. Um, so you guys will be either meeting someone or in a relationship around Valentine's Day, the, the six month period. So you guys will ex be experiencing love or it could be a partnership. Also, if you guys are at odds with people, uh, family, friends, even someone from a relationship, I feel like you guys are uh, going to end that. With the Ace of Swords in reverse, this is about ending a quarrel, uh, fighting, letting go of grudges, and really just focusing on yourself, not holding on to that negative energy. Um, the things that have happened in the past, best friends who have betrayed you, friends that have betrayed you, uh, people in relationships that you feel like have broken your trust. I feel like this is all about you believing in yourself, having the courage to um, also heal these things. So you'll be coming out of this energy. Um, if this was a past relationship that you guys were dealing with, you guys will come out of this energy and you guys will move on to either new love with this person or a new love with a new person. Yeah, this looks like somebody from the past. Um, so on six months from now, I feel like you guys might rekindle the relationship depending on the energy of the other person. As far as this is concerned, um, there's some things you might have walked away from, but I don't, I feel like you might be reconnecting with this person also i feel like you're just going to be a completely different person they won't even recognize you um just because of the energy that you're embodying but i do feel like you have a soulmate around you or someone that you just recently left or broke up with uh because with the eight of cups in reverse this tells me that you're going back uh you're going back you're ending the fighting and coming back to love so if you guys come to a place of love uh, there will be a relationship with this person. So you will be experiencing that. The hangman. So you guys will also be going through a spiritual journey. So the hangman is about the pit stop, right? It's about obviously his hands are tied. He's not going anywhere. This is about a spiritual journey. Also balancing the dark and the light. So there is some duality here. You will go through some things, but it's about a spiritual journey. Also to believe in yourself and even with this person, I'm hearing for you guys, deck number one, if you chose this deck, that this is not just about depending on another person for a partnership, but also depending on yourself, understanding that even if you're not in a relationship, you're never alone, right? So this is about understanding how love works, understanding that it's not necessarily about being in love with another person uh, rather than being in love with yourself and understanding that you don't have to be in a relationship to be in the frequency of love. And with the hangman, it's telling me that there will be a pit stop. So you guys will be going through some sort of spiritual awakening. It'll be a minor one, but for the most part, it's like your hands are tied, there's nowhere to go. But what happens is you're constrained physically. And that's because um, there's some, some other things that you need to be awakened to. So you guys will go through a period of awakening um, and having to depend more on the spirituality rather than the physical aspect. And like I said, with the relationship, this is a physical connection here. This is a physical relationship. But with the hangman, this tells me that this is really focusing on the energy, right? And I feel like for you guys as well, once you guys get to this place of understanding energy and understanding spirituality, you will be led by your spiritual eye rather than your physical eye. That's what I'm hearing too. Like there are some things that look good, um, but again, everything that glitters is not gold and you're learning that. So in six months you will progress. Um, I feel like you're gonna be, I feel like you're gonna be much stronger. Like I feel like people take your kindness for, for weakness, right? 
but I feel like in six months, you guys will learn how to balance that. Um, again, if this person comes back and this isn't a new person, I feel like you, you will have already balanced your emotions. You'll know how to deal with it from a different, a different perspective because the hangman is also about a new perspective. So I feel like, again, you're going to be a completely different person and you have a gift of, um, and you'll, you'll have this in six months too, if you don't already have it. But again, like I said, you have like such a sweet spirit. Um, and it's very kind and very like gentle. And I feel like people take that for granted. Um, so this is about also understanding your strength in your kindness. Then we have the three of cups, the celebration. So yeah. Um, for some of you guys, I don't know, this is for just a few of you guys that I'm picking up. If you guys are in college and you're watching this and you chose deck number one, I feel like you guys, uh, if you're graduating next year, it's going to be, it'll be good. You guys will graduate. You'll pass that exam. Um, you will graduate. I feel like I just feel graduation a lot with the three of cups. So congratulations on that. I wouldn't even stress it in six months. You'll be off to a new journey, off to a new beginning. Um, I feel that strongly with the three of cups, but for the rest of you guys, if you're not in college, this is about a celebration, meeting new people, getting out there, um, and celebrating your victories, how far you've come. I feel like you guys have been through a lot just because of the type of heart you guys have. Uh, but with the three of cups, this is about celebrating also your spiritual journey, understanding that you have a, I also feel like you guys have a gift of unconditional love that's coming up as well. You know how to love people no matter what they bring to the table. You see the good in people. And uh, with the Three of Cups, it just tells me to celebrate yourself, meet new people, get out there. I still feel like it's traveling. Um, I feel like New York keeps coming up. So if that's something that you guys were thinking about, book the trip. That's your confirmation uh, for a few of you guys. Um, the three of cups. Yeah, it's just uh, get that passport for sure for for those of you who are dwelling on the passport Get your passport. It's about taking risk for you guys, right? Taking risk um, Within the six months like booking the trip. What do you have to lose a, a few of you guys those that of you who don't have children and You are a single person like you can live anywhere in the world that you want to live like be free That's what I keep hearing. Um, so this is about also believing and your courage to take that risk, to take that leap of faith. So yes, travel the world, meet new people. Um, the people that have hurt you, your friendships, your relationships, there will be an apology. There will be, once you shift your energy into this, the otter and this, the uh, squirrel spirit, people are going to start approaching you differently. They'll have no... They'll have no other choice but to apologize for the things they've done because your energy and your spiritual awakening also is seeing things from a, pe a different perspective, understanding that sometimes people just don't know what they do, right? So you will have matured as well um, in the six months. All right, so let's look at your evolution. What, where will you be evolving in, right? Uh, for deck number one, um, the initiation. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this is exactly what I feel. Um, like I said, the initiation, take the initiation, the leap of faith, take the jump, uh, write a passage in crossing, crossing the threshold. So you see, uh, that on this card, it's, it's pretty dark here, but there's a light and a rite of passage. And that's why I feel like for some of you guys, this is about traveling. Um, but also from a spiritual aspect, it's about the physical rim and getting more into the spiritual uh, spiritual light of things because when you see things from a higher perspective you understand why people do things that they do and they hurt people you understand that but you learn how to forgive them for yourself to be able to release their energy so you will be releasing energies from people I feel it like strongly I feel like it was of uh, friendships and friends that have hurt you um, though relationships is is in it I feel like there's just some people who you thought would have your back with some of the things that you've done and You've just had to really lean on yourself for your own strength. And that's what I see for six months. Um, in the past, in this period of six month time, you guys will experience this, but your evolution is the initiation. All this is set up for you guys to take the risk, to believe in yourself, to understand that you're not alone. Even if you're not in a relationship, you're not alone. You'll always have your higher self, your spiritual self. And so this is just confirmation that you need to initiate something new in your life. So I feel like in six months, you guys will start doing things you've never done before. Um, you know, just booking trips and 
going to places, meeting people. I just feel so much freedom for you guys, deck number one. Just meeting people, seeing the different cultures, seeing the different cultures and just being so glad that you've taken this risk and taken that initiation. So let's see what the other card is. Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeing, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. So let's see what this one is about. So this is an activation card, okay? So it was uh, the Anna, grandmother of Jesus, was an ancient mystic who dedicated her life to laying the foundations for Christ consciousness to be woven through all of her life. She is not widely known, but without her Christ consciousness would not be rising as it is today. Anna represents the quiet dedication that is sometimes required to live a life of service. She represents a soldier, the unconditional mother and the mystic who can see the thread that is woven through all of life. Anna teaches us that we all have a part to play in the divine plan. So no part is better or worse or more important or less significant. So basically, again, not even from a religious aspect because I believe, um, I don't necessarily believe in religion, but I do believe in spirituality. So basically what this is saying is, even though she wasn't Jesus, the this you know savior that the world has known um, him to be, she still played her part in laying foundations and seeding the light and the divine plan. So it's basically saying that even if you do something small spiritually, there is effect. And that's why I always say, even if you raise your consciousness, it raises the frequency and the energy of the world and the planet. So you can change the frequency just by playing your part. Um, and it's a ripple effect. You have a great energy. Someone meets you, they go back, they meet other people, they have a good energy. And if it's out of love, it's still laying a good foundation and seeding the light. So this is about understanding that you might not be the star of the team, but you're still assisting in some way that is very beneficial. So don't overlook it just because you're not a star. Like I said, people underestimate you. I already knew that from, from the first two cards. And then your moon card. All right, bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So this is about bringing love into the situation. Like I said, you guys have a gift of unconditional love. And so sometimes what people don't understand is that because you have a gift of unconditional love, you are going to attract people who also have that gift or people who drastically need that gift. So you have to think of yourself as being a light. And uh, we think of moths, right? They're dark, um, they're eerie, but they're attracted to the light. So you have to understand that dark will be attracted to the light and in the balance of being in yang. So with this situation, you will attract hate. You will attract people who don't know what love is. And so it's you putting out this plan of expressing unconditional love and being loved. So I definitely feel like you guys will go, be going through an evolution here of learning how to use your gift as, of love, but also seeing things from a higher perspective of, you know, people hurt me. Why do people hurt me all the time? And it's also because they don't know how to receive the love that you have. So for deck number one, this is your guys's reading and what you guys will be embodying your energy, which is going to be again, the otter and the squirrel spirit, that um, courage and in integrity, um, you know, small, but packs a punch. That's what I feel like for you guys. And then you guys will be experiencing, yes, a connection and love or someone coming back, laying, laying the swords down to rest, but also celebrating, celebrating this new freedom and celebrating this love that you guys have. But don't forget again, for you guys, you guys will be taking the initiation in six months. So congratulations on those who are graduating and taking the initiation. If you guys chose deck number one, don't forget to comment down below. I'm interested in seeing what you guys have to say about this reading. In the meantime, on to deck number two. Okay, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading. If you guys skip to the timestamps, of course, any announcements or anything you guys wanna know about, including personal readings, you can find that information in the description box below. Don't forget to comment down below. Also, if you've chosen deck number two, I'm curious to see how this resonates with you guys. All right, let's look at the first two cards of Oracle, which is going to be the energy and spirit animal that you guys will be embodying six months from now. So we'll be taking a look at the energy, also your experiences that you'll be having, and then last but not least, what you will be evolving in. 
All right, so first up, we have the koi fish spirit. There is always enough. So the koi fish, obviously, um, a lot of people get this fish tattooed because it's just so beautiful. So I can already tell that you guys have a really good energy. If, if this is more of in the sixth month, I feel like you guys will be embodying your guys' beauty even more. Uh, your beauty also, if you're a man, so this isn't obviously gender affiliated, but your beauty and how you shine. I also feel like even though it says there is always enough, with the koi fish, I just feel like this person is very elegant. So you will be um, embodying an elegant, beautiful spirit. And this is also about confidence. I feel like in six months, you guys will just have the confidence of knowing who you are. You guys are going to go on a journey of discovering who you are. And it will be a beautiful one. In six months, there will be no question about what it is that you guys encompass and embody because of the energy that you guys will be uh, getting with the koi fish spirit. Let's see what the other one is. The starfish. So wow, you guys have two fish and two fish. You guys could be a Pisces. If you are a Pisces, then I would say that this reading is really going to be for you. If not, you guys might have water in your chart. And again, if not, that's totally fine. Take it how it resonates. But with the starfish, the starfish is very resilient. We know that when you cut the starfish, it grows again. It grows from the piece. So this starfish is very, very resilient in the spirit. Just the energy that you guys are going to embody six months from now is just beauty. Beauty, transformation, resilience, um, elegance, and also with open to infinite possibilities. So with this fish, everybody, even as a young child, when you learn about the starfish, it's just so amazing at how resilient this starfish is and it's so different it's like and how could this be possible that this fish is able to be cut so many times and just portrays this amount of beauty and persistence and that's kind of what you guys are going to be embodying as well with the infinite possibility no one thought that that could be possible but this starfish is has a lot of energy behind being a survivor and going through so much and it's crazy because what I'm getting for you guys is like you guys have been through so much or will go through so much in this sixth period of time that how do you guys still look so amazing? How do you guys still have this great energy, this great positive fluent energy and always having a, such a positive outlook on life? So you guys will be embodying beauty, transformation and uh, resilience, not giving up and just again, shining your light, being a survivor. So let's see what you guys will be experiencing. All right, so yeah, you guys might go through a breakup or have already went through a breakup. Uh, with the Five of Cups, this is disappointment emotionally. Um, I feel like some things didn't go as planned. And uh, again, this could be you recovering from that. Like I said, with the starfish, the starfish recovers very rapidly. So I feel like if you guys are going through a breakup or you guys do go through a breakup or you walk away from something, it doesn't necessarily have to be a breakup. It could be a job. It could be a family member. You guys will bounce back very, very rapidly. So yeah, you guys might go through a tower moment, but don't see the tower moment as bad. I feel like it could be caution to evacuate as well. With the tower moment, I feel like what a lot of people get misinterpreted is that it's a disaster. And yes, it could be appearing as a disaster, but it's a natural disaster. Meaning this is the universe, the divine, higher spirit trying to wake you up. And because we're on numerology 16, we have the hangman, we have the hermit. There were several other warning signs that we tend to avoid. So the tower comes... Um, the tower comes to basically shake up things. And I feel like even though it's falling out of place, this is falling into place. Um, so you guys will experience some turmoil as far as some things going the wrong way, but I feel like it's also, and we'll, we'll look at your guys' evolution and evolving. It's also to get you guys to this energy. And it's crazy. That's why I said you guys are going through this period of time, but you still look so beautiful. You still have such amazing energy. Um, so this is also understanding that you, you can withstand this battle. So you guys will experience a tower moment, um, or have a tower moment or a lot of warning signs to evacuate. So this is also about listening to your intuition. 
some of you guys could have kids in the next six months or conceive or get pregnant in the six in the next six months um that's for a few of you guys also with the six of cups this could be family if you already have kids and you're dealing with the father or the mother of your child i feel like there is going to be some growth here uh with your guys's connection and i feel like uh you know i don't want this to be a reading where you guys are like oh my gosh it's going to be terrible we understand that things happen for the best right and so i feel like you guys will be also coming to a place of growth with the six of cups this is about growth after loss the five is usually adversity loss but we're moving forward with the six of cups and we're going through a growth period so this will happen but you guys will grow and if it has already happened, just know that in the six months, you guys will grow and be recovered from it. You guys will be in a completely different place. Then we have the 10 of cups emotionally. So yeah, this looks like a breakup or a family member or something that has happened that has created a lot of unhappiness. But again, when I get to your guys' evolution, we'll see why you guys are going to be experiencing this in six months. So in the 10 of cups in reverse, though this is emotionally unfulfilled, I feel like you guys will let go of this connection um, for the best of, for the better of you guys. I feel like you guys are going to get justice with new love. And you'll learn that releasing whoever this person is, is for the best because you guys have new love coming in. And whoever this person is, it's like, yes, you guys had some bad times, but thank them because they've made, they're making you who you are going to be in six months. And that's this, having this beautiful energy. And then also with the koi fish, there's always enough. I feel like there are some, some fears of lack, fears of lack emotionally. And in six months, you guys will have grown from that. You won't have to fear whether or not you'll be happy. Yeah, so I do feel like you guys are going to meet somebody else uh, with the Six of Pentacles. You guys will have somebody else coming after this tower moment with the Six of Pentacles. This is somebody who wants to give and and you guys equally reciprocate things. Um, this person is a giver and they've come a long way as well and there is growth and I also feel like this is your energy as well going through this experience of learning how to still be yourself. We have a couple of sixes here so yes this will be past or someone that you've been dealing with but there's a lot of growth here. You guys are learning a lot on an emotional level because we have so many cup cards here but also having a foundation, right? We have the tower, this is instability. We know that a long climb up can be a quick fall down. And also understanding that you can't build a foundation on sand, right? We have to rebuild the structure. So I feel like you guys will be going through a rebuild of structure. You guys will be doing things for yourself now, getting that house for yourself, taking care of your kids if you have kids on your own, and going through that period of time of giving to yourself. Let's see. Yeah, you guys will you guys will have learned so much from this. I feel like don't look at this as a negative thing. These are things that are that are going to happen like I said a natural disaster. You cannot stop lightning from striking, right? This is the divine setup to get you to where you need to get to. And you guys will have learned so much. I don't know if you guys are a teacher for some of you guys I do feel like Either you're getting your degree or you guys might start teaching in six months because we have the this card and this card and this is about teaching and then the six of pentacles, this is about giving. Um, so if you guys, also I feel like for some of you guys, I'm hearing that some of you might want to start a preschool or work with children. I feel like in six months, you guys will start doing that or, um, or being a part of some type of, it's like, I don't know if it's like a shelter or helping children give back. Um, yeah, this is definitely a foundation. So if you guys want to work with a nonprofit or start a nonprofit in six months, you guys will be doing that. I feel like a lot of you guys will, will be doing that. And then also I feel like deck number two, like my energy is so emotional. Um, again, we have the fish, we have the water, um, and then we have all of these cup cards, but I feel like you're an emotional being and, um, that's okay. It's a good thing. And I think that's why you're set up to work in the in the um, vicinity, vicinity that you are. Even if it's not working with children, you have a heart of giving. And in six months, you guys will be doing that as well. But also, I feel like this needed to happen because this is part of your testimony and reconnecting, being transparent with people who have went through things. Um, so it's it's this whole thing is starting to connect. So let's see what you guys will be evolving in or your guys' evolution. So protection. So call back your power. 
cut the cords soul retriever retrieval so this is about protecting yourself again like i said you guys are very emotional even here we have water it's not emotional sensitive and a bad thing it's a good thing you guys know how to express your emotions you're very in tune with your emotions um you recover very quickly you're very resilient and there is a sense of needing protection so i feel like in six months you guys will have a level of protection on a more spiritual aspect and so this is also about cutting the cords like cutting the people who um are taking advantage of the love in your emotions so people will see you as a very emotional person and they'll take advantage this is about cutting the cords. so all this is happening uh for the fact of you cutting your cords for protection reconnecting with your soul right and then also calling back your power understanding that being vulnerable is a power it is not easy to be vulnerable it is easy to be bitter and angry and harsh and upset but to actually be vulnerable and expressing your emotions and putting them on display is not an easy thing and that's a power that you have so it's not a weakness being emotional is not a weakness you're going to learn that it's just requires a level of protection uh, because some people will take take and take and they will drain you so let's see what else you guys have the ever unfolding rose cracked open it's happening for you and not to you exactly that's exactly what i was saying and i want to read this too um because i feel like this is about um this is about really understanding that everything that happens to you even a rose is for the benefit and I know sometimes we don't understand that even with the tower card there, that's what I was explaining to you guys. We, we question why, why, why does this happen? And then days or months later, we're so grateful that it had happened because if it wouldn't, I probably would never would have evacuated, right? I never would have evacuated. All right. So let's look at, it's an inquiry card, right? Let's see the ever unfolding okay cracked open it's happening for you not to you the challenge of life is to keep your heart open when you most want to close it to let life crack you open to open through hurt and loss to allow what is falling away to fall away being human is a courageous act a life well lived and full of is full of losses and tragedies as much as triumphs and adventures wherever you find yourself at the moment life is coaxing you to keep your heart open no matter how much it hurts to continually unfold, to let life crack you open. Perhaps you will be going through a difficult time right now. Instead of cursing the difficulty, see it as a blessing. So that's what I said. You guys have this delicate spirit here and all of this is happening and it's for the purpose of evolution, right? To evolve. So you guys will be evolving and learning so much about yourself, but also you're gonna be learning about the resilience that you guys have to keep going. So then in six months from now, the last card with the moon card is the, to take time to breathe out. So I also feel like this is about taking the time for yourself and also, like I said, protection. So being able to, yes, give and put yourself out there and be vulnerable and going through these courageous acts and being emotionally available for people, but also taking the time to breathe out. Otherwise you will be drained. So all connecting with yourself on a spiritual level, but meditating right i feel like you guys will learn how to balance how to give and take so you guys will have an equal balance of giving and receiving you guys will have mastered that in six months from now especially with the six of pentacles here yes you got this is about the charity card you're giving but you have enough to give um and and that's because you have you take the time out to breathe out and so again this was just a reminder that in six months to take the time to breathe and not allow things to kind of overwhelm you and take from you. So yeah, that's your guys' reading. If you guys chose deck number two, don't forget to comment down below. I'm interested in how this resonates with you. On to deck number three. Okay, if you chose deck number three, this is your reading. First, I'm going to be looking at your guys' spiritual animal, what you guys will be embodying, the energy that you guys will be embodying. Then I'll be looking at your guys' events and circumstances. And last but not least will be your evolution. So what you will be involved in. So the first question is, what spirit animal will you be embodying in six months? We have the crow spirit. The crow spirit is about co-creating with your spirit. This was also the only deck that had three spirit animals that have came out. So I just took them 
So we have two birds. So we have the sandpiper spirit being playful, and then we have the crow, crow spirit co-creating with spirit. And in, it, interestingly enough, I already feel like you guys are gonna be embodying a spirit of freedom. I always associate flying with freedom. So you guys will be embodying that spirit along with the wombat spirit. So this one is interesting, actually. I was researching a lot on the wombat spirit earlier. And so that it's, that it's come up for your guys' reading is very interesting. But it's also a very spiritual animal, as you can see. Um, they have the stone on their head. So I actually want to read from the book so you guys can understand what this one is about because it's going to kind of tie everything together. So this says being at home, um, burrowing deep into the ground, remaining safe, sound, and well-fed with family is a special trait of the wombat. Home sweet home is always available if you recognize that well-being is the spirit of life. It also reminds you to be truly at home in the world. You need to find comfort within your own skin. You do this by accepting all you are experiencing without judgment through a deep honesty and love of life. When you feel the freedom to be yourself, you can begin to truly feel at home in your life with your family and tribe. Right now, you're in a beautiful place where you can hang up the coat of your identity and settle into the true sense of home and well-being, understanding that as well. Everything you do from this place rings true in harmony with spirit. So this animal and this animal, interestingly enough, is all about connecting with your spirit and learning who you are. So you guys are going to be going through a journey of self-discovery. You guys are going to be um, coming from a place of introspection, learning about yourself and hiding your identity. I feel like you guys did a lot to fit in. And in the next six months, you guys are going to learn how to master being yourself. So I feel like you guys are going to go through an awakening as far as being in tune with yourself and introspection and getting to know yourself. So I feel like you guys are going to drastically change and then also be more connected with your spiritual, with your spiritual self, especially with the co-creating with spirit. Um, also with the sandpiper spirit. So this is a very playful spirit. So not taking things so seriously, enjoying life. And also, like I said, and mentioned earlier is about being free right? Being free, being free to be yourself. That's what I hear for you guys mostly for deck number three is learning how to be free to just be yourself and not care about people judging you. So you guys will be embodying that playful spirit of freedom and just like a carelessness, which is really cool. Yeah, we have the strength card. You guys could be a Leo. You don't have to be, but you guys are going to learn how to be strong in yourself. Also, the strength card is about, um, confidence and courage and having strength and pride in yourself, understanding your beauty. And again, you could be a male, you could be a female. It doesn't matter. Gender is fluid here, but this is about really having the confidence to be yourself. And so I feel like if you guys have been struggling with that or the, the people around you, your environment and surroundings, you guys are going to really learn how to just be yourself and not care. As you see, she's she's naked on the, the, the lion. So she doesn't really care too much about what people are thinking. Obviously, this is crazy. Like, what are you doing? But she doesn't care. She's very open and she's very receptive to the fact that this is just who she is and either you're going to accept it or not. And so I feel like you guys are going to be in that energy in six months, which is really cool. It's like just being uh, comfortable in your own skin and being playful, not taking it so seriously and really setting yourself free from having to be this person that people have made you out to be. Also with the two of pinnacles, this tells me that you might lose a few people in the process of just being yourself and just understanding that the people who fall away from you within the six months are meant to fall away. And that's just something that I'm hearing too with this energy because you're co-creating. I feel like you are creating your own reality in the next six months. You're going to you're gonna be walking in more of a power of creating your reality, creating your surroundings, and in cre creating your environment. And so I feel like you guys will be able to create a reality that is best for you. And so you'll notice people will start falling away. Um, you'll have options, multiple opportunities, but I feel like you won't have to juggle being that person that you were and then juggling being this person that you were not. Also, if you guys, that's what I'm saying, like uh, with the three of swords, it's about in the reverse is about self love. So I feel like if you guys were dealing with um, losing people. You guys might lose people for being yourself and telling the truth and saying like, this is what I believe, this is what I do. 
I love sage, I don't care what you think. That's like what I hear, like I don't care. Um, and so it's about self-love and just being comfortable in your own skin. Um, this is gonna allow you to create a universe and a world that you feel comfortable in, that you're actually happy in. So this is gonna be about taking back your power to be yourself and um, also not seeing life from a serious aspect. So you guys will be doing a lot of healing. Um, I feel like you guys will be much more healed. This is in the reverse. So you guys will be in a place of healing, but also in a place of self-love, really loving yourself, really connecting with yourself, which is a beautiful thing. Temperance in the reverse. So temperance is all about the, uh, the spirit, right? The fragile spirit. And so I feel like you guys in, um, in six months, we'll be reconnecting with your spirit. You guys are on a spiritual journey within the six months, for sure. With the temperance card here, you could be a Sagittarius, you don't have to be, but spirit, spirit, spirit. I mean, these are spirit animals, just alone from the fact that it's a spirit animal deck. Um, the, even if you look up this card, the Wombat, it's all about spirituality, whether it's in uh, Oracle or not. And so you guys will be going through a spirituality, but I feel like in the, in the upcoming six months, this is about taking care of your spiritual self. And I feel like you guys have been neglecting yourself in the sense of your spiritual care. And so understanding that what you feed will grow. So when you're feeding your spirit, you will grow. I feel like you guys will be going through that, um, that spiritual journey and, uh, you know, meditating more, getting more into being around positivity and things of that nature. Then we have the Empress card here. So I feel like Again, you guys might have struggled in the past with creating, um, creating something for yourself. You guys could be a mother, you don't have to be, or you could be a father, you don't have to be. But the Empress is about being confident, right? I feel like you guys, um, this is more of past energy I'm, I'm sensing. Like you guys struggled with having a spiritual connection with yourself, but you guys also struggle with having confidence. Um, feeling like you were worthy, feeling like you were good enough, and that's because people were trying to change you. And so you guys are really going to be embodying, like I said, this energy of being yourself. And uh, qu quite frankly, it's it's crazy because when you guys are yourself, you guys are going to attract so many amazing people, um, so many uh, amazing love interests because you are different. You're like you're not like everybody else. You're not made to fit in. It's so obvious, but. That's what's create. That's what created the low self-esteem or the confidence issues or feeling like you weren't good enough is because people were making it seem like you weren't good enough because you were so different. But you're gonna learn that your difference is gonna be your superpower. It's gonna be why you reconnect with people. So if you're questioning why, why do I have friends like this? Why do I have people of low vibration? Why does my family believe this? Or why am I not manifesting this? It's because of your shift of energy. You were you were attracting what you were being, which is um, that facade or that person that you were you were wanting to be, but still not feeling good enough. So you guys um, had some struggle with creating. The Empress is about fertility. So it's not just about fertility of humans and babies, but fertility of creating projects, creating um, things that you are meant to do here, right? Having these ideas, wanting them to bring, wanting to bring them to life, but feeling like you're blocked or you're not good enough to do that. So you guys are gonna come out of this energy. And then last but not least, yeah, the Six of Wands, a lot of people are gonna start recognizing you. And it's so crazy because you think that you have to change to fit in for people to recognize you and give you recognition, but it's the quite, it's quite opposite. Like me, even myself, I'm not even normal. There's no such thing as normal. <laughs> that's just programmed. That's a word that's programmed to fit everybody into this mold. And so you're going to learn that, wow, if I'm just myself, I'm going to lose these people that I thought cared about me. But dang, like, look how much you gain public recognition for standing strong, being yourself, having pride in who you are and reconnecting with your spiritual growth. Yeah, I can feel the energy for real. Yeah, you guys, this is about freedom. This is about not giving two shits about what people think. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys are gonna have to make a decision on um, being yourself and uh, following your intuition and your excitement, inspiration, or you know, remaining in this energy of being what other people want you to be. And I feel like you guys are gonna break free in six months. Um, so again, the six month period is around February, March, January, depending on how you're looking at it. But um, mostly February, the end of February, Let's see, September, December, January, February. Yeah. So this is going to be about around February. You guys are just not going to care, but people are going to notice you more for that. And that's the crazy thing. You're going to be so free. You're going to be in the sandpiper spirit of being playful, doing things you've never done before and just not caring. 
And that's such a beautiful thing. I always say one of the ultimate stages of freedom is just simply not caring about what people think of you. That's when you're going to be able to co-create. Um, and you know, even with the crow spirit, it's like we think of crows as death, but this one is cool because it has like the universe in the, uh, the feathers and the wings, but it tells me that people are so misinterpreted, just like the crow, like it's misinterpreted because the crow still stands for something. And though we look at it from a dark point, point of view of death, it's like death to ego is a great thing. I always say death to fear is a great thing, right? We still need death to, to a certain extent um, of the things that we don't want in our lives. So I feel like you guys kind of have been judged a lot of, of your life and just um, underestimated, of course, but also it's about you just not caring. You're a people pleaser. And that, that has got to break, you got to break free from that. And that's what I feel like you guys will be doing in um, February in the six months. So let's look at your evolution. In Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. All right, so it looks like you guys have some things that are, are tied into this. And I feel like it's karmic things. Um, so let's see what the Unbound is about. So this is an action card. Okay. It is time to release old soul stories that have been playing out in your life. They are coming up to be healed. There has never been a safer time to heal these patterns than right now. Take a look at patterns in your life that you're ready to release. Ancient vows and contracts, your soul made that has an expiry date. It could be a vow of silence or chastity or poverty. It is time to unwind from them. This is a life in which you free yourself from trauma of life's past. That's exactly what I'm saying. So for example, a soul pattern of playing small caused by a soul fear of being seen or sharing your voice would have served you by keeping you safe. But in order to grow, you now need to soften by receiving and calling and support. It is time to unbind the old ways. So if you guys had fear, and that's why I said you guys have fear, but you guys are freeing yourself from this. Fear of what people think, fear of what people have to say, fear of opinions. And so you guys will be going through this evolution of just breaking free from that, unbinding yourself from not speaking up, not saying what you feel is right, not doing what you want to do. So this is great. Like this is like a rebel spirit, but from a beautiful place. Let's see what the second card is. Yes. Just say yes. So yeah, this is about, again, uh, just saying yes to being being free this is crazy the the um the description is just literally yeses like yes 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 so if you guys have passion projects that you want to do if you guys want to go to comic con in 2020 if you guys want to create the next this or be the next this the answer is yes just be open to it yes i'm breaking free um, and don't overthink it. Just say yes. It's very simple. Um, so I like the fact that the description is like literally a hundred yeses, but basically this is about accepting, um, accepting your journey and saying yes to something new, something that will fulfill you. So that's really cool. So let's see what your moon is. Um, prosperity lies ahead, new moon and Taurus. So, uh, Taurus energy, very dominant energy. Um, but this is about prosperity. So I feel like you guys, not just prosperity and money, but prosperity and just being free. Like I said, prosperity and abundance. Yes. But prosperity and creating, uh, the projects that you guys have, if you guys need to create them now is the time because you guys have prosperity waiting for you. And I feel like you guys are also going to have a lot of abundance and blessings come to you for your authenticity, for being authentic is what I see and understanding that prosperity is not always abundance. Like I just mentioned, but prosperity and health, prosperity and creating a beautiful life for yourself. And this is the right way to go because like I said, it is the most authentic way to go. You are being completely true to yourself and you're not downplaying yourself for the sake of pleasing other people. So yeah, this is great. Deck number three, you guys are walking in your power, being free, being yourself, um, creating, being playful, not taking life so serious, releasing yourself from people pleasing, releasing yourself from soul patterns, past lives, contracts, just so much releasing. So I advise you guys to get some sage that is all about releasing and letting go. Um, and that, that will really start to clear your energy and really connecting uh, with animals that have wings. Though I know the wombat is here, animals that have wings, flying, things of that nature. 
So yeah, again, if you pick deck number three, I can't wait to see what you guys have to say down below. If it resonates with you, you guys have awesome energy. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about deck number three's reading. All right, moving on to deck number four. All right, deck number four. If you guys chose this stone and deck number four, this is your reading. Again, any information you guys have requests about or personal reading bookings, you can find that in the description box below. I'm going to be looking at three different parts of where you will be in six months. The first part will be the animal and spirit animal you guys will embody. So the energy that you guys will be embodying, your experiences and events or circumstances, and then with the last one, your evolution, what you will be evolving in. So I'm really excited to see what deck number four has in store. All right, let's look at your guys' spirit animal first. All right, we have the fox. So this is more of a dominant energy other than, like, I have all the other decks. I've already done them, but now I'm on deck four. This is more of a fiery energy. I think that this is more of an aggressive energy other than the ones that I've had earlier today. So this is about inspiration, motivation, energy, good energy, going after what it is that you want. Um, I can already feel this card just by feeling it. Um... Also, uh, not being intimidated, not being intimidated by the things that are coming ahead. And I feel like in six months, you guys will have more of an aggression, which is not a bad aggression, just going after what it is that you guys want. Um, so yeah, the Fox spirit for sure. And also think, think on your feet. So this may be some, uh, decisions you guys have to make. And then we have the vulture. So yeah, this is aggressive energy. This is masculine energy. You could be a woman. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. This is just masculine energy and going after what you want. I haven't seen these cards, but I feel like this is like emperor energy. You guys could be an Aries or even a, not, I wouldn't say as much as a Taurus, but you guys might be a Taurus because I could feel that energy, especially Aries energy. You guys could be a father or you guys could have masculine energy, a single parent, a single mother, or... Yeah, I'm just channeling all types of stuff right now. Um, nothing is wasted. Go after what it is that you guys want. That's why I feel like in six months, you guys are going to go after what you want. You're going to stop talking about it and you're going to start doing it. You're going to start taking action. And that's what the vulture is about is just um, taking what is yours and not from a bad thing. Just it's time. It's time to take that, that step. So with these energies I actually I want to look into the fox spirit just before I get into uh the rest just because I'm very curious to see um what this encompasses all right so be alert now for the fox spirit has appeared and you are meant to move swiftly let this clever spirit draw you out draw your creativity as you adjust to rapidly changing circumstances with resilience grace and astuteness Fox Spirit helps you think on your feet, using your best judgment and wits to help you slip into a more adventurous situation. Now is not a time to hesitate, but a time for swift action of the mind and a time to think outside the box and notice the many ways in which you might make a move or aware of your surroundings. If you wish to co-create, trust that your cleverness is guided. It will serve you well. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like you guys, this is about someone... Uh, you could be an entrepreneur. We're going to look into your events and uh, circumstances, and then I'll see a little bit more about your guys' energy. But yeah, you guys are going to be going after what you want. Could be going after that person, going after that relationship, that job, that promotion. Uh, you could be an entrepreneur. I feel that heavily as well, being an entrepreneur. I won't be surprised if there's pentacle energy. All right. So yeah, the nine of wands, this is about inspiration, passions. Um, you guys could have started something and lost faith of it. Uh, or even a job or a relationship, but the nine of wands is about the wounded warrior. So you guys have been through a lot, but now look at what has done. This is so much fire energy. You guys could have fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Um, and I only say that just because I could feel the fire like this. You guys have been through a lot. <laughs> the nine of wands, you guys, uh, you guys are still strong though. You've been through a lot. And I feel like in six months from now, this this, I know you're probably questioning like, why the hell is this happening? Why am I going through this? When am I going to get a breakthrough? But um, I feel like you're coming to the end of it. Like you guys are on the fourth lap of the mile. There's four laps in a mile. You guys are coming up to the finish line. So I see with the fox and the vulture, this, this, what you guys have been through has created you to, to have alertness, right? You guys need this for whatever your evolution is. Um, and I can't wait to see what that is later in your reading. But whatever the hell you guys have been through, it was for the necessity of you guys developing this type of alertness and being more aggressive and going after what you want. So you guys are pretty wounded, but she's still standing. She's still ready to fight. 
Um, and so with the Knight of Wands, this is about you going through a lot. Two of Wands, so you guys will make a decision um, about what it is that you guys have to, uh, I, I guess I can say conquer. You guys are gonna have to make a decision on um, what it is that you guys want and go after it. But I feel like, again, with the six month period, you guys have made a decision to go after what you guys want, which has created the fox and the vulture spirit. Seven of Pentacles. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like now is the time. The Seven of Pentacles could be you being impatient, but I don't see that. I feel like you've kind of been too patient. Now is the time to take action with the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you guys have already invested whether it's time in a relationship, time in a business, and it's time to just put it out there. Um, what are you waiting for? That's what I feel like. This is definitely someone who is a visionary. You're a visionary, you have ideas. Uh, you have to understand, now I gotta get into my life coaching. You guys have to understand that if you guys are giving imagination, if you guys are given visions and dreams, that this is coming from a spiritual place, right? Taste it, touch it, hear it, see it, smell it there you go five senses if you can't do any of that it is not coming from a physical place okay so you guys are be being given downloads if not now you will be in within the next months pay attention to your dreams have a dream journal out because there are going to be downloads and anytime your imagination is activated or visions that you're getting especially when your eyes are closed hello this is a spiritual place this is something you are called and meant to do so if you're questioning that, I need you to understand that now is the time to take action. And I do feel like in six months, you will take action. Right now, you guys might be going through a period of, of uh, preservation and also patience, but I'm telling you that it's creating you guys to become more of a vulture outlook in taking what is meant for you. So if you guys are giving downloads over the next six months, come back to this video and comment down below. Keep this video. If you guys pick deck number four, I'm, I know for a fact this is for you guys. So come back to this video and make sure that you guys are in tune with your visions that you guys are having because it's being meant to manifest and manifesting from a spiritual to a physical, okay? So you guys are inventors, visionary. Like I feel Steve Jobs. Like I feel uh, people who have created things, Disney World, Walt Disney. This is the energy that you guys have, okay? And that was just completely channeling. Anyways, the point is, guys, is that don't be too patient. It's time to take action. What did I just say? The emperor energy. <laughs> I literally just said that. I don't even look at the cards because it's more exciting when the, when the universe just clarifies what I'm saying. So yes, you guys have not been in emperor energy. Emperor, take, making empowered decisions, going after what's yours. The emperor is a bull. The emperor goes after what they want. They're a visionary. They're a leader. They're aggressive. They go out. They have animal instinct. And so I'm not surprised that these are your animals because it is meant to have animal instinct for you guys to go after what it is that you want. Again, you guys could be an Aries with the emperor. For sure, I know a few of you guys are Aries because I've already said this three times. Now the emperor is coming up. So I feel like um, you guys could definitely be a fire sign because there's so much fire, like I said earlier. But you guys are in the sixth month are learning because again, this is like past energy down here. You guys are learning how to become an emperor, how to become a leader and an alpha and not a follower. And, and to also trust your instincts. That's why you have the fox spirit here. You don't need much. You already have exactly what you need. The emperor is somebody who can literally take over the jungle. They are, they can get everybody on board to follow them. That's the type of energy they have. They're a leader, they know what's best and they go after it. That's the type of energy that you guys are having. You guys don't have timid energy because you've been through so much. But as far as the emperor is concerned, it's time for you guys to start walking in that energy. And yeah, in the three of wands, look at all the, the wands, like you guys are definitely fire signs here. Um, so with the three of wands, it's not waiting, right? The three of wands is knowing, uh, is waiting for the ships to come in. This is not about waiting, but going after it, okay? Also walking away from the things that are not serving you with the three of wands. But for the most part, instead of waiting, it's about you taking the taking the stick and going after it, right? Lover's card could be Gemini. You don't have to be. It's in reverse. Um, this isn't something you guys need a person for. If you guys feel like, 
well, I need a team, I need help, I need an assistant, absolutely not. I feel like you guys need to co-create, put it out there, and the universe will send you the people that you guys need. This is, I don't feel like this is a love relationship at all. I feel like this is about passion projects, energy, motivation, inspiration, and fire. Like this energy makes me feel very motivated to get things out and manifest. And understand that you guys are giving these downloads to help other people. As you manifest into the production, into the physical realm, the production of it is going to help people. For instance, I had an idea to do this reading. I set it up and now I've manifested and now it's it's out in, in the 3D world, the physical world. So you guys are going to be learning about manifesting, looking into law of attraction videos, um, learning about manifesting, the difference between the spiritual world and the physical world, and really making things happen. Entrepreneur. If you're not an entrepreneur, you're going to get a promotion. You're going to climb up the ladder, but you got to be a little bit more dominant and aggressive in what it is that you want, because that's that's what all this has happened for you to do, to you and for you to encompass Fox and Vulture spirit. So yeah, let's see what your guys' evolution is. You guys have a lot going on as far as that. You're already doing it. Wow. Stop overthinking it. Keep facing your true north. So basically, if you're questioning whether or not you're manifesting, you're already doing it. That's why I said you guys are probably already having dreams, already having visions, already having manifestations. Um, create a vision board, especially if you're watching this video around a new moon, is a great time to put your manifestations out there and your vision boards out there. And also learning how to master uh, manifestation, I feel like you guys will have in six months. But it's not a question of doing it because you guys are already doing it. It's about being more aggressive and uh, one, believing in yourself, believing in the vision and understanding that you're meant to co-create these visions. This isn't just like a dream that you're having for your own entertainment. Um, I feel like this is about your energy and co-creating. So if you're overthinking it, again, like I said, with the, the seven of pentacles in reverse, this is about being, it's not about being impatient with you. I don't feel that. I feel like you're being a little bit too impatient and things are not progressing at the rate they need to because you're questioning and you're overthinking it. So you're already manifesting. We're always manifesting. That's the problem is that we could be manifesting negative things in our life because we're always manifesting. We have a gift. We're creators by nature. So we're constantly manifesting these things. So we're always manifesting. It's just, what are you manifesting? Play, have fun, celebrate. Don't be so serious. So again, with the overthinking things, I think that you guys have been through a lot. Uh, but when it comes to creating energy, one thing that I've noticed is that you have to be around great energy. So it does require going out, playing, not being so serious, and also seeing life from a child perspective. Understanding that ch children, the reason why they have imagination is because they're open to a portal of spirituality. So they have imaginary friends. They have this imaginary world and it's very playful and they're able to create things and tap into their artistic flow and creative flow. And so sometimes to get your guys' creative juices flowing and creating or getting the promotion or uh, manifesting positive energy that you guys will be in, in in the six months, it's about also socializing with people, meeting people, celebrating, having fun and not overthinking it. That's what you guys will be working on in the six month period of evolution is really evolving and um, understanding how manifestation works. Adjustments are required. So yeah, we know this. This is what I was telling you guys earlier. Also look out for the third quarter moons for you guys when it comes to manifestate manifestation and vision boards. Okay. Since this came up in your guys' reading for you, deck number four. Um, adjustments. So like I was saying, yes, you guys have been through a lot. And it was for the purpose of getting you guys to get into the spirit. But the adjustment that needs to be made is you guys need to have a little bit more of a leadership mentality and not a follower. You guys are not meant to be followers. You guys are meant to be leaders. And in the six months, you guys will understand your position here. Um, but nobody wants to follow someone who's not exactly sure where they're going. And so that's why it's important to make the adjustment to to shift into this emperor energy and to not wait. You do a lot of waiting, a lot of procrastinating and just putting it out there. Also, I hear that you guys might be afraid of failure. These are the adjustments that need to be made. The ego, the thoughts, right? These thoughts of feeling like it's failure, it's not good enough. It, it's time to put it out there and just see how the world reacts to what it is that you guys are creating, manifest, manifesting. Um, it doesn't have to be something like Apple. 
I know I said I feel like the Steve Jobs, the Walt Disney, it doesn't have to be something so drastic. You guys can literally uh, create a deck of cards and want to put it out there and express yourself. You guys could be painters and you want to put your paintings out there. It could be something very minute, t-shirts, socks, something that's creative. Um, and also something that allows your, you guys to tap into an energy that, that allows you guys to express yourself. So whatever it is that you guys wanna express yourself in, even if you guys are at a corporate job, it's about taking the leadership and expressing yourself in that energy. So hopefully that makes sense. It's a lot that you guys are going through, but the main word for you guys in the six month period is manifesting, manifesting energy, understanding you're already doing it. Don't take it so seriously. You've been through a lot, but now it's time to go after what it is that you want. So deck number four, this is your guys' reading. I can't wait to see what you guys have to comment down below. Um, again, continue to be the visionary and walk in your power of leadership. And I will see you guys in the next Pick a Card reading.